All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. Hold on. And we're Break Room Blitz, baby. What up? Thank you for watching. I want you guys to sit back, relax, go for this ride of the Break Room Blitz, baby. Got some stuff we want to talk about. You guys might agree, you might disagree, but go ahead and comment. I want you guys to like, and if you if you really like the content that you're getting with two of us, which is just two subscribe. of us today, subscribe, subscribe and yeah. notifications. Oh yeah, we got some stuff to talk about. You want to get caught up? Get caught up. The latest and greatest, definitely. So, we just got did you guys a big favor? Ooh, big favor. Big, you owe us. <laughs> <laughs> right, my 12th. Yet, yet again. <laughs> uh, we went to go see Valerian for you guys. Valerian in the city of a thousand planets. Thousand planets and Ooh. a thousand unanswered questions. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. Um, man, let's just go over the cast real quick. All right. Just in case you weren't familiar with who's in it. Right. We got Kara, Delavine, 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 one of those, sorry. Something like that. Blonde uh, shape. You're right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Dane Dehan, Rihanna, that's the easiest one I know. Rihanna. And we're going to give a you know, quick shout out to uh, John Goodman. Yeah. So, there's some other characters in here, some other actors in here you might know. Clark but Owen, but... Nothing really too... Um, spectacular. Right. Like exactly. the rest of this movie. Exactly. So, <laughs> Valerian, as you probably, if you've seen a trailer, go watch the trailer. We'll put the trailer in, in the link if you haven't seen it, but... Right. Um... Man, you you get a lot of like excitement with the trailer, a lot of colors, a lot of uh Very huge vibrant. universe. Yeah, CG. Right. So you're thinking, okay. And it's it's directed by the same guy that did Fifth, Fifth Element. Element. Right? Okay, you got my attention, you got my curiosity. Let's right. watch this That's thing. That's a classic. It's gonna be great. Can't go wrong, right? He knows the formula for a great movie. Yeah, Ruby Ride. <laughs> 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 Was it just a fluke? Oh, man, he was a one hitter quitter with uh, Fifth Element, and I don't know what else he's done. I don't know. He might did some other things, but what they told us was the director and writer of Fifth Element. So right. we got excited. Yeah, because we got the same kind of uh, sci-fi uh, experience in this movie. Right. right. You know, it should look like a pretty interesting universe. A thousand uh, was it nations or whatever? Oh, yeah. So many different species of alien. Right. You know, so it must be great. Oh, yeah. Totally. Well, yeah. if you read the Rotten Tomatoes, mm. it's going to be on, on par with that. You know? And I hate to give them so much credit, um, but sometimes Rotten Tomatoes gets it right. Let's just let's just get into it. What are you kind of feeling about this movie? How are you feeling about it? How did it kind of make you feel? Yeah, I mean, uh, coming off the trailer, it was like really hyped. I saw a, really, a lot of really cool stuff. And then at the beginning of the movie, it was kind of hard to tell, but there were those warning flags, you know? And then right midway through it, I knew it wasn't going to get any better. And it was just down from there. It, it didn't recover. And uh, it was a big disappointment overall. Yeah, you know, I would have to agree with you. Um, I did have a lot of hope for because, you know, it was by the director and writer of Fifth Element. So Huge. I felt like he has a formula for a good movie. Absolutely. Um, so I was ready, you know, but I felt like it was more flash than actual substance. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. I felt like they just didn't care about our intellect and they're just yeah. like, just, just as pretty. Who was pretty, pretty, pretty? <laughs> right. And it, the story is the backbone. Right, you know, it needs to make sense. I I, I love the visuals. Yeah. Um, the visuals were great. The cinematography was great. It's just the actual substance of why we're here and how things make sense that I didn't really like. So overall, just gonna just throw it out there. My, if I have to rate it right now, okay, I'm gonna give it a three out of five okay. stars. Um, it just. I don't know. I think some people would like it. I think that it's, you know, probably like for younger audiences don't really care too much about what's going on. They just care about the visuals. Yeah. Um, I think you'll be fine. So I think if you're like 12 to 15, mm -hmm. you'll be fine. Any younger than that, you probably don't even care what's going on. Yeah. But because it's not like any standout characters. Yeah. Uh, as far as like the aliens. Right. But um, it's just not a lot that just kind of makes sense. That makes you think like, oh my God, I wish I was there. It wasn't. I, I wish I would have left. I, don't know. <laughs> I wish I would have been out of another movie. Let's go watch Girl Trip. Right. Oh, man. And you know what? This guy convinced me to see uh, this movie. And I'm like, yo, Rotten Tomatoes 
It's talking about like 50%. You can't trust it, but in this one you can. So, my bad. Yeah, I, I'm sure. like, we could have been laughing right now, man. <sighs> Girls trip. Yeah, I'm over here trying to stay awake. <laughs> right, me too. I, I would admit I did doze off a little bit. Um, just because there was a lot of things that just I didn't really care too much about. You I know? mean, the characters, not so much. The acting, not so much. The so story. The no. two... I'm going to call them kids. They look young. They the, do. The, the two actors, the main characters, they have some type of love interest. Were you kind of believe in this love interest? Or was it kind of like an Anakin Skywalker? Yeah. Uh, awkwardness. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it was, you know. It, it's it, They were both kind of, there was some sense of immaturity, for sure. But then, like, there was no chemistry. There was absolutely no, I, I didn't buy that, you know, he says he loves her and she's just kind of like playing the hard to get kind of thing, but low key does like him. Um, and I didn't get that. I, I mean, like, even when it did come down to like a uh, climactic point in their relationship, uh, I, I still didn't get it. It's just like, no, I didn't feel for it. Yeah, you know, for me, I know that in America we think that we need a love interest in every single movie. Yeah. But I'd have been fine if they were siblings. <laughs> There was no real reason <laughs> yeah. for them to be a couple. Mm -hmm. like, And they were pushing it because they weren't a couple. <clears throat> they were just colleagues. Yeah. And when they kept pushing them, they need to be together. Need to be together. Need to, I'm like, do they really need to be together? They just don't get along, okay? Or could they just be a good team? Right. Nothing wrong with being a good team. We don't need this love interest. Nope. It, and to me, it wasn't... It, it did kind of feel what everyone complains about Anakin and Padme. If you don't know, it's the Star Wars trilogy... How Anakin was just weird. He was just this weird, yeah. kind of like, not per not perverted, but I don't know. He had like this stalker kind of like vibe. Like, you yeah. will be mine. He's a creeper. You will be mine forever. It's like, like they wrote it. Was, hold on. They wrote it really bad and George <laughs> Lucas was like, kiss. Right. You know, so it just, it, to me, it didn't feel authentic. No. Um, it just didn't need to be in there. Um, no. There's no need to force that down my throat. I don't need it to be. I don't need a love story. I'm not buying it. Man. Just give me a good story. We don't need love interest. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, let's try to let's try to turn it up a little bit. Okay. And let's go with the CGI. Oh yeah. So is the CGI believable? Is this something that like? Because to me, it kind of compared to an Avatar. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was really vivid, very, very uh, vivid colors. Vivid colors, yeah. Um, it didn't, nothing, everything seemed to mesh. Mm -hmm. Nothing seemed like to be out of place to me. What'd you, what'd you feel? You know what? Yeah, there, there, there were like quite a few scenes that it, I, I kind of didn't buy. I can oh, tell wow. that it was CG. Wow. It was really good. Don't get me wrong. It was really good. But it wasn't to the level of Avatar for me. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think that Avatar was better than this. Oh, wow. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good, especially in the beginning when they're on the beach. You know, we got this uh, primitive mm -hmm. uh, culture on the beach, you know, and they're smiling and they're happy and they're glowing. And so like that, things like that I did buy because it was as close to Avatar. But when they're in space and these other planets and aliens, uh, you know, it, there, there were certain elements that I just couldn't buy. I don't know. Mm. So we couldn't even liven it up with a little bit of CGI. No. No. I mean, <laughs> even that it, was lacking. It was cool. It, it just was an avatar cool for me. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? There is a part where there's a little kid um, that they meet that's like, I guess, kind of like DreamWorks CGI. Yeah, it reminded me of Monsters Inc. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Yeah. I don't think this CGI matches with the rest. It was no. kind of cartoony. A very, yeah. It wasn't trying to make me believe it was real. Yeah, It was exactly. like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Woody or Buzz Lightyear or something. That was that type of style. So there was that point. Yeah, I yeah. guess I can concur with that. Yeah. But overall, I thought it was kind of cool. I thought that uh, the cinematography was good. Some of those shots were really great. Mm -hmm. um, so... All right, well, let's, we're going to go over to the... Now we get to the aliens. We're meeting yeah. the whole bunch of aliens. Yeah. Um, was it what you thought it was going to be? Um, it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be good, and it wasn't good. But the aliens were cool. I like the different aliens. It looked like they had a lot of artists, graphic artists, and they say, hey, well, draw me an alien, and we'll put it in the movie. Okay, cool. And then they got a whole bunch of different aliens and did it up which there was a lot of diversity in the aliens. You know, some are robotic, some are organic, and it was cool. Right, so in the, in the beginning, we get the whole start of how this thousand species 
of aliens coming together. That was I thought was cool. You did? Oh man, I was like, we don't need. I don't really need it. It, it went on too long. That's the thing. <laughs> it went on way too long because it started with the humans and the humans in twenty twenty. Right. And, and and how we got our international space station with our different countries. And it's funny because it went from 2020 to 2031 to 2101 21, to 2122. And yeah. then it was like, and then 400 years later. Yeah. I'm like, what? what? I thought we were doing 50s, you know? Half centuries at a time. Right. Yeah. So it, it did a super jump yeah. to how they got there. And I just feel like, you know what? I would have been okay with them just kind of like. On their own ship, interacting, and they're just pulling into yep. this big ass space station with a, a thousand different species. That's right. And I'd have been okay with that. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, but the whole coming from Earth and then drifting off into space, I don't know. It just was unnecessary. It didn't really have any significance to the story. Right. So the origins was kind of like, kind of forgettable. It was. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, 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 I can agree that it was a little too long and they just they just jumped. Mm-hmm. Um so, what about our hero to villain complex? We do a lot of we do hero to, to villain complex here on on our channel, mm-hmm. um, probably due to con or C Jack sorry C Jack. <laughs> um, he talks about that a lot, uh, and it's just kind of like the the hero to villain. You know, was it even? Did you really feel for? Would you did you believe that the hero was the hero? Did you believe the villain was? Um, I guess menacing. Right. So, what you what did you feel? Do we get a hero to villain complex here? We had a vi- hero to villain complex, but like most of the story, it wasn't written well, and it was very safe. It, it wasn't even uh, creative. It, it was Scooby Doo, as I like to call it. You know, it's like you know the guy that hired you is the bad guy. <laughs> So it we, sure was. We got Scooby Doo on this one. Damn, I didn't think about that. Scooby Doo of a mission. Oh man. Oh, See, it's this that, thing. We I talk about say. these things and we point things out and maybe you didn't catch something that we uh, noticed and then we catch things that we didn't notice all the time. Uh, that is right. Mm-hmm. The villain was supposed to be the hero. Yeah. Uh, that's, damn, they got us again. They got us. Scooby-Doo. <laughs> got him. Now give him some CG so they could forget. Oh, Damn. That's funny because we get like this movie. We got um, uh, Star Trek. Yeah. Um, what's another one that did that to us? You say Wonder Woman. I say a little bit. I say a little bit of Wonder. A little Woman. bit of Wonder Woman. Bit, yeah. Um, but there's there's a lot of movies that just kind of like gotcha. Yep. <laughs> like oh um um, Suicide Squad did that to us. Suicide Squad did it. Like. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is like the producers pushing this stuff, but I don't want to be Scooby Doo. I don't want to be Scooby Doo. I don't want to have even, a hive mind. Right. I didn't even really like Scooby Doo that much. No. So, but I knew what was going to happen. It was very predictable. Yeah. I was like, okay, one of them that hired Scooby Doo bunch is going to be the bad guy. <laughs> right. Which one? Yeah. And I didn't really like that too much, and I don't like it now. Like mm-hmm. I, I rather just have a bad guy. Yeah. We don't need this good guy turn bad guy. Nope. You know, we just just give me a bad guy. He doesn't I don't even need to even I don't even care why he's bad. I just right. he's a bad guy, we gotta overcome him. I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. It's okay if you give him some backstory. Right. But I'm not even asking for all that. No, it needs to to be Give me a bad guy with a sense of urgent uh, sense where I'm panicking, like, oh, like these guys may not make it through this thing, right? You know? Oh, it definitely was not that. There was no sense of urgency. We just we knew they were going to get out of it. Oh yeah. Even they knew they were going to get out of it. They never even felt like they were in trouble. Nope. Ever. Nah. So it just it just <laughs> didn't do it for me. The storyline, I mean, it was pretty. There's a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought the acting was okay, except for the time where they're trying to like. Press this whole love interest thing. Kiss. All right. I'm like, I'm like just drop that, okay? <laughs> the whole movie. They don't even get together to the end. So to two and a half hours later, oh, then they get together. I'm like, oh my gosh. Just leave it alone. Yeah. Can I go home now? <laughs> right. So we got Rihanna. Rihanna's in it. I thought her character was kind of cool. Gorgeous. Uh, she is. You know what? I don't like her in the media, but I will say on film, she's really pretty. Maybe she should do better movies. She. She should do more movies. She should do more movies. For I think sure. she did really for well. Sure. I thought that. I think that if she was a love interest, oh. it'd have been way more believable. Yeah, 
because she really had like this heartwarming ness to her. Yeah, I was able to like, oh, oh. Yeah, like, you know, I, I did feel for her, you know, and then she helped out a lot too, you know. Right, you know, she was she was but, down, you know. It's just like they can't have her steal the spotlight from this like forced love interest. Right, <laughs> right. Honestly, if she would have fell for him, I'd have, it'd have made a little more sense because you know he ends up like saving her from her captive. Yeah, gives her you know some sense of value, um, which was interesting because they had a lot of. I would say social issues in there that we have here on Earth, right? Uh, between races, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was really interesting that they put some of that stuff. And they have we got the natives. You know, yep. we have people who have been taken from their homes mm -hmm. and disenfranchised. Yep. You know, so they they tried to do some things that were you know kind of like real world scenarios. It, it, it's just that um, they they try to do uh, a lot of the now. Uh, situation or you know things that we're going through now but in the future time aspect of things and i would hope that after a couple hundred years we wouldn't have those kind of issues but i guess we still do we see, i think we're definitely still going to when it's like a power struggle we got a thousand different planets and, and, i think that's a thing it's yeah. always going to be that way and then Military humans wise. like even in the in the movie the humans are doing the worst Yep. Out of everybody, yeah. Even though they seem to be the leaders, you got this, cor this thing. corrupt I mean, politicians weird. and leaders. That... It was just weird. Like they're they, they said that the humans are are their economy is crash and everything, mm -hmm. but we seem to be like the center of the whole uh, gathering right. of species. I'm like, are we doing? Are we doing bad or not? Yeah. Can we borrow some money, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Right, I don't know. It was just it was just weird. I don't think that there's any real substance to this movie. No. I don't think that you're going to need to see it. Maybe, you know, maybe your kid wants to see it. He's like 10, 10 to 15. He wants to get his, like, classic movie in his mind. Yeah. Maybe that'll be his fifth element for you. For I would him. just show him, you know, save yourself some money and show him fifth element. Yeah. If he hasn't seen he it. Might as well. But, I mean, like, maybe they want something fresh. I don't know. I just oh, don't think man. that it's... It's that. I think if you're older and you have a logical brain, yeah. you're going to wonder, like, what? But, I mean, I got what? niece and nephew that are hella smart that I don't think they would like this movie. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there was so... With all that was going on in Fifth Element, they explained yeah. why these aliens are coming to Earth. They did. What yeah. they're doing when they, need to, when they get here. Everything. Like, they explained this stuff. And the things that they should have explained, they didn't. And the things that they should have showed me, they just explained. Right. I'm like, What? Who who are if I know the rules yeah. to cinema, I feel like the director and producer should know as well. And at least the editor, who's watching these things and saying, "Yeah, let's do it." Editors don't have any any say so. Fucking edit my my movie. Yeah. Don't say nothing. Edit it. Just edit and that's it. all they could do. And get a stamp of approval and get to the. Box I mean, office. it's really the director and the producers that have the final say, and I think that they just maybe they think less of us. They think that Americans just yeah. don't like. Movies with substance. They just want all flash. Everything big. Make everything big. All show, no go. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know. I If you have to rate it, what are you going to give it? I'm give it a two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. I'm not going to watch it again. I don't need to watch it again. Um, yeah. Yeah, so now, Tuesday, let's go watch what we should have watched today. Oh, man. Girl Trip. Girl Trip. I'm still craving for that movie right now. Everyone so. is raving oh, over this movie. Man. And they have really good big big stars in it. We should have went to go see that. You should've got all to go you see. got you got shammed. Oh, you got uh, bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> Hoodwinked. Uh, Hoodwinked. <laughs> you got the hood thrown over your oh, head. Oh man. Man, we should have went to go see that. So Squirrel I No. <laughs> <laughs> I would go see Girl Strip over this. I don't think this is worth your money. No. Um maybe just download it. Um, you know what? This reminded me of like a Netflix movie. It did. I was going to say. Yeah. I don't, but is the budget too big for Netflix? I mean, like, what are we doing? They got Will Smith now. <laughs> oh, man. This reminded me of a Netflix movie. I'm it sorry. It did. It really did. Honestly, like, if this was the Netflix, I would have thought more of it. But Right, because it was free with my subscription. I would have given it another star. Like, damn, I got this movie. All right, that's cool. Yeah, you know. But it's it's a... One watch and you move on to the next. That's right. It's definitely not our. It has no, no rewatch re -watch value. No, no, because there's no substance. It's not like, oh, I want to see that part where they almost die. And da, da, da. No, <laughs> no, 
Yeah, I don't want to see nothing again. No, no, I'm I good. saw it. Okay, I know it's going to happen. I need some background noise to take a nap. Let me put this on real quick. Oh, oh man. There we go. Not even that. I watched Family Guy for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's our review of Valerian. 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 Wasn't City that the guy's Dazzle. name, too? It's, the guy's name is Valerian. Uh, but they, it, so he's named after the the title of the movie Space Station? No, the Space Station with Alpha. See, that's why it's so confusing. <laughs> the Fifth Element, it wasn't Corbin Dallas and the Fifth Element. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the movie is just named after the guy? The guy's name was Valerian. How whack. <laughs> We have no reason to care about this guy, okay? No. He should not be the name of the whole movie. He wasn't all that. He was not. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. That's our review. Check out our other stuff on our page. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And please uh, don't judge us for the lighting. We had some technical difficulties. It'll be... Don't point at me. <laughs> don't point at me. <laughs> We're here together as a team. All right. <laughs> it's CJAC's fault. Yeah. For him not being here. There's no balance. Right. <laughs> I'm too dark over here. Um, so, uh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let us know what you guys think. If you like the movie, let us know. If you thought that this was trash, let us know. Are we missing something? I would probably not, but I, I think everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Hold on. And we're Break Room Blitz, baby. Peace. Peace. Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas. Corbin Dallas. Corbin Chicken Dallas. good. Chicken good. <laughs> <laughs>